Hello everyone, my name is Amy, this is The Opinionated Woman, and welcome to a really fun little video. Um, I didn't think I'd ever film something like this, I'm rather proud of myself, but as you can see from the title, this is my Reading to Zero TBR uh, kind of video. Um, because even though, as you can see, I have quite a lot of books, um, I've got around 200 and something, I haven't counted them in a while, um, I've almost read all of my physical TBR. So I wanted to get together the books that I haven't read and then sort of make a plan of action of how I'm going to be reading. Um, so, but before I do that, um, my mom and my stepdad are coming to visit in May and my mom has already stacked in her, like ready to be packed, a pile of books for me that she got from different secondhand stores in the UK. Like the types of books that you never see in the secondhand stores here. So my 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 shelves are going to be replenished uh, pretty soon. Um, I think there's also a book from my aunt that she's kept aside for me, a new release that I'm really excited for. Um, so yeah, I don't have a lot of time. A lot of the books that my mom is bringing me are going to be for Pride Month. Um, but yeah, there's some other books that uh, are coming. So <laughs> I just want to look at the state of my shelves and stuff as like as it is now and decide how I'm going to be reading uh, up until that happens. So let me get together the books that I haven't read yet. So here we have it. These are the books that I have left on my shelves that I have not read yet. As you can see, it's not very many, but I need to have some provisos because not all of these um, are actually available for me to read right now. Firstly, I have The Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss. This is the second in this series. and. Ooh, uh, when I was up in Joburg, my aunt w had this in her giveaway box because she had doubles. Um, and it's a series I've really wanted to read. And you can get Name of the Wind uh, secondhand, like, pretty easily, I think. I think I want to try, um, like, every time I see a secondhand store, I'm going to go in and see if they have Name of the Wind. Um, so, obviously, sec it's second in a series. I can't read this one right now. So, that is off the potential TBR. Then we have these three books. I am just about to culminate, as I'm filming this, um, my reading three South African authors uh, reading vlog. And this, these three are what I have for the next South African reading vlog. Um, so obviously I can't read these anytime soon because otherwise I'm going to be reading South African reading vlogs back to back and I'd like to put some space in between them. Um, so yeah, these are destined for another video, but will be read uh, this year for sure. I think maybe maybe after Pride Month, I'll do a South African reading vlog. That's that bookmarked in my mind. So what I have left <clears throat> are three of my blue books. Uh, this is Scalagreg by William Howard. I'm not sure what it's about at all. I just know it's a um, it was given to us by a family friend. Um, it says it's a compelling search to unearth a secret that could never be told. Mm, I, don't, I don't know. Um, and then I have The Prisoners of Geography by Tim Marshall. Um, I feel especially as being someone who is a product of colonialism um, and lives in a country that was obviously colonized by multiple different countries and that affects uh, the way that its country is run quite dramatically. Um, I wanted to know more about uh, like different countries that had this kind of effect on them. So this one is, it's 10 maps that tell you everything you need to know about global politics. So it takes 10 different maps across the world. So it like looks at the Middle East, it looks at Africa, it looks at a, a whole bunch of different places, China, Russia, um, to sort of look at the... Um, 
political and geographical climate based on maps, which sounds really interesting. It sounds like it would be uh, not a quick read, let's put it that way. Um, but it is one that I really, my dog is sighing right there. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is that a, is that a, a bingo wing? It's muscle, it's muscle. Uh, I think this is going to be a good one for me to read in conjunction with something else. Which brings me to the next one. One Flew Over the Cookie's Nest by Ken Kesey. Kesey? Kesey? I, do, I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll try and look it up. Um, so this is like it's modern classic is this modern classic it says it on the side it's a modern classic um set in a mental hospital you know it follows nurse ratchet um not follows nurse ratchet it follows a patient and nurse ratchet is the like really abusive um nurse that works in uh in this hospital as someone who is mentally ill like i'm I've, i'm bipolar i've got anxiety i've got a tic disorder um and PTSD. Uh, I have also been in a psychiatric hospital and not one like this, not one like this at all. My psychiatric hospital was sunshine and rainbows and I don't mean that in a um, sarcastic way, it really was wonderful. This is a very different sort of situation and I think it might be quite heavy. So I think reading these two, whoop, these two in conjunction with each other might help because then this won't be as dense and this won't be as triggering so I can alternate reading these two and then after that pick up Scalagric yeah I think we've made a plan so this is going to be my little my little stack that is sits on my my shelf here I have a shelf that I put my um, TBR on and it's empty right now because I'm reading the last book that was in my last TBR. So I've got a cute little blue TBR going there. Um, and yeah, that's all I wanted to really say in this video. It's just a quick little one. But um, again, I need to watch more of Leonie from the book Leo's videos because she did uh, She's the one who inspired me to do crafty reads because she drew while she was doing a wrap up. Um, and then she was doing like a book organization, like lets me pick out some few books that I'm going to be reading kind of thing recently. Um, so she set up a book journal and everything like that. Uh, I'm just going to do this. Um, thought it was nice to like bring you along with me and make a make a little plan so if you did enjoy that um don't forget to follow me on social media i always forget to say that i am the opinionated woman everywhere tiktok instagram youtube obviously if you're here <laughs> um and my website the opinionated woman life um but if you did like this please give me a like maybe a little comment and subscribe maybe subscribe that would be really nice the, like i'd really like to hit like 250 really soon even though that's a little goal i would really like to um but anyway take all my bell for notifications and i'll check you next time